I think his safety has been really good today, O'Sullivan. Very good. Almost every shot he has tried on safety has been not only successful, but very threatening where he's put the, the cue ball. Gilbert's not had much to go at. Very few mistakes. I think Davis played a big part in that as well, but Sullivan has tied him up quite a bit, what I can see. And that's a good return. Now, has he forced Sullivan into a long one here, long pot? With no really easy safety shot this time, I don't know where he can get a thin edge and get back to bulk. So he's left with a possible pot, which he doesn't really want to play. Again, fortunate, but this is a big shot now on this yellow. Because this could lead to potentially the end of the match. Three. I just think it's been a high standard match all the way. You know, if it ends up a nine, a ten five win for Sullivan. Now, Gilbert might look back at it and think, what, what did I really do wrong to only win five frames over two days? It's not happened yet, but I think that uh, the standard has been good in this match, OK? And we've seen O'Sullivan create a barrage of breaks. We've seen him make five centuries in this round and lose. But overall, it's been a quite intense match. It's been just a very high standard all the way through. Top quality snooker. Four. Yeah, he's competed in every area, and uh, fiercely so, actually. Gilbert would have played worse than this in one matches, I'm sure. Six. Little mutterings under his breath every now and then, O'Sullivan. Little uh, show of disappointment that he's on this pink like this. This is quite a missable shot now, going into the reds as well. But he's not missing many, is he? Just that one quite easy red, I think. Just another one into the middle pocket in frame one of the afternoon. 30. On this occasion, he could have been in a better position than he is. Eighty. Now I think he's just looking to see if the pink went. Yes, is the answer, as you can see. Ninety. Uh, with a, perhaps a slight angle, top side of it to nudge the reds, bring all the reds into play. Mightn't be quite straight enough for that. So he has to wait one for that to happen. The pink spot. Just about available, I think. 25. Now, all of a sudden, everything's dried up a little bit. No, no, if it's not on, it's not on. Yeah, but I don't know. No, but if it's not on, it's not on. I've got it wrong the first time. Leave it, 
<laughs> he said, leave it on him. You might have got it wrong the first time, he said. And basically, what he just found out is that it doesn't go. And it went earlier. <laughs> and Brendan wouldn't seconds. like that to be said about him, but I mean, it could be the ball's moved slightly. Who knows? I don't think when he does finally retire, and it'll be a while yet, there's any chance of him becoming a referee, Ronnie O'Sullivan. <laughs> I don't think it's necessarily a profession. He's uh, that interests him too much. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 26. Well, it's a bit of a scruffy old frame where the balls are now after that miss. I thought he was going to just find a way of conjuring up a break that takes him over the line in the match but maybe his concentration went he had a little, a little chat with Brendan Moore yeah I mean assuming he does win which is likely now the fascination will be you know can he maintain a sort of even keel for the whole tournament it's a long tournament long sessions and, uh, we've seen, we saw in the final of the European Masters, you know, as the final session began, he had a photographer thrown out because he got a bit fractious. He's got to try and stay calm. It's the same with every player here. <laughs> try and just keep calm. And it's not easy in the cauldron of the crucible, but it's a bit different for O'Sullivan for two reasons. One, because there's more attention on him than anyone. And two, because, of course, he's trying to equal the Stephen Hendry record of seven titles. He thought he'd get the green into play, which I think is a sensible move. And he's played a good safety shot, all things considered. You feel like... Uh, it just feels right now that... I think the match is petering out because it hasn't... He's not done that at all. It's, this match is not over yet, but... The Gilbert challenge has come to a bit of a standstill, hasn't it? Yes, there's no doubt the pre-interval frame, frame 13, was huge. Biggest of the match particularly the way it, it was resolved. gradually spreading out question of getting a good safety shot in here which again there's obstacles stopping the shot back to the bulk area possibly behind the yellow is where he'd like to be but how do you, you get there from here you can just see the thin edge of the very left hand red which he's not completely covered by the black but you don't really want to have to play it but in the absence of anything else you might have to Yep, just very thin contact, almost grazing a thin edge. I mean, it's not gone absolutely as he meant, but it was still a great effort. Look what he's done. He's covered almost all the reds again here. His safety has been outstanding today. You don't really think of it, do you, to say that? Usually with O'Sullivan. I 
Gilbert's had a, a few chances and he's taken them in the most part. Well, the follow-up has gone slightly wrong. Now he's left a red, so Sullivan won that little duel. He might be about to win the match because all of a sudden, where the balls are, it's very possible. Well, he was already, even if he lost, guaranteed to go over the £3 million prize Six. money mark here at the Crucible. So he's averaged hundred grand a year from the World Championship. But how much money has he brought into the game? All this stuff from Hussain Vafai, I think he got a bit carried away, saying Ronnie O'Sullivan <laughs> should retire for the good of snooker. How can that be good for snooker? The public interest is uh, there for all to be seen, and it looks like they'll be seeing him again in round two as he attempts to seven. equal Stephen Hendry's record of seven world titles, which has stood since 1999. In fact, he beat O'Sullivan in a classic semi-final here at the Crucible on the way to winning that title. 14. And in winning this match, if he does, he will equal Hendry's Crucible record of 70 victories in this venue. Fifth. Well, that's uh, actually OK. For a second, I thought he was going to finish short of where he wanted to be. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Just over-screwed a bit there. Now, what you mentioned there, Dave, about the, uh, the numbers that put for years, they didn't quite stack up these numbers of O'Sullivan. You know, people thought he, 20 years ago that he was going to be an underachiever at the game. Because we knew how good he was, but he wasn't really picking up all the silverware. He was winning certain things. He won a ranking event at 17 in the UK Championship. But there was a period of time when he didn't win as much as he should have done. Those days are long gone. 29. Well, if he pops this black, he's won this match. Yeah, and the other thing about it, Gilbert has only won five frames. But he, don't forget, he won the first three as well. So. He's lost 10 out of 12, and I don't think he's played that badly in those 12 frames, really. Well, he was he was unlucky in that 13th frame. That was the big frame, wasn't it? Not to say he would have won after that. He would have been 7-6 down. But when he lost it, it just seemed a long way back. Now, Sullivan has snooked himself, but it's, it's too far back from here, surely, to even consider playing on. Sullivan. 42. Dave Gilbert said when he qualified, I don't want to play Ronnie O'Sullivan, and this is why... Okay. O'Sullivan has beaten him by 10 frames to 5, and for the 26th time in his career, he's reached...